At least 17 people, including children and women, have been killed and 20 others injured when a bus plunged into a roadside pond at Chhatrakonda in Shodarupuzila of Chalukati district on Saturday. According to the locals, a Borishal-bound bus from Bhandaria in Pirochpur district carrying around 70 passengers fell into pond near the Union Purishod office around 9.55 a.m., leaving 17 people dead and 20 others injured. The driver might have lost control over the steering. Fire service and policemen went and started rescue operations with the help of locals. At least 20 people were rescued alive and taken to hospital. The injured were taken to Shodar Hospital. It is not known exactly how many passengers were in the bus. A joint program youth rally will be held at 2 p.m. today in the capital Sorovardi Uddan by BNP's three youth organizations Jubodol, Chhatrodol and Shetcha Shevokdol. BNP Secretary General Mirza Fokul Islam Alomgir will attend the rally as chief guest and announce additional programs. Centering the rally leaders and activists of BNP affiliated organizations have already started gathering at the Sorovardi Uddan to attend the pre-announced youth rally. BNP wants to clarify the anti-government message with the large gathering in this rally. BNP announced youth rally in early June to attract new voters and youth. According to the announcement, youth rallies were held in Chottogram on June 14, Bogura on June 19, Borishal on June 24, Silet on July 9 and Kulna on July 17. In continuation of this, the party is holding a rally in Dhaka today as per the pre-announced program. Jobolik will march today involving the youth in front of the protest of BNP Jamaat terror anarchy and elections. To keep the organization energetic and involve the leaders in the street movement, a divisional rally called Youth's Victory March is being organized in Maiman Singh. Central leaders of the Jubo League are expected to attend the rally organized at 3 p.m. at Railway Krishnachura premises in Maiman Singh city. Jubo League will hold Youth Victory Rally at Rongtia and Chinai Ghati Upojila of Sherpur at 2 p.m., in Netrokona Shohid Minar premises at 4 p.m., and in Bokul Tola of Jamalpur city at 4 p.m. Apart from those, in the afternoon, Jubo League will hold a protest march in front of the party office on Bongobundhu Avenue in the capital. Fishermen are waiting for the ban to end after completing all preparations for fishing. After the ban of 65 days, they will go fishing from midnight. After a long break, if the desired fish is caught, caught it will be possible to compensable the loss, the fishermen hope. The 65-day ban on fishing ends at midnight on Sunday. After spending lazy time, it's time to go to the fishing. Fishermen don't have time to suffocate in last-minute repairs of nets and trawlers. The main accessories of fishing, many fishermen in Borguna did not get government support during the ban. Their days were spent in extreme misery. Their complaints, many people catching fish during the ban due to good relations with the administration. Fishermen are not willing to go to the sea to hunt Hilsha to compensate for the loss. Fishery officials hope that many Hilsha will be caught in the fishermen's nets due to the good enforcement of the ban. After a long break in Potuakali, the fishermen are getting ready to go to the sea. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has laid emphasis on the amicable end to the Ukraine war, saying international cooperation in this time of growing instability is clearly vital to the vulnerable among the global community to build resilience against future shocks. The Premier said in her speech during virtual participation in the Global Crisis Response Group GCRG on Friday. To sharply rise and the debt burden for the poorer countries to swell. These and other shocks have driven up the prices of food, energy and other commodities the world over, causing delay in the progress of sustainable development goals. Bangladesh, as an energy and food importing country, have been suffering from rising imports bills, increasing inflation, and stress on foreign currency reserve. The communication system of Thakurgao has changed in three consecutive terms of Awami League. The Northern District is supplying electricity to other districts by meeting their own needs. 
economic zones and new universities will be built in near future. Local Awami League leaders claim that people will choose the Awami League in the next election to maintain the continuity of development. Takurgao is a border district of West Bengal, India. Since 2009, this northern district has been changing due to development activities. The development in the communication sector is noticeable. In 2008, the completely constructed road of this district was 450 kilometers. Now it has reached to 1600 kilometers. In 2022, a 150 megawatt power plant was established at Koripur in Jagannathpur Union of Shadarupuzila. The government has decided to build an economic zone and a new university in Tagurgao. The anti-corruption has found 50 employees of 3rd, 4th class including office peons, office assistants of Rajuk. In the name of these low paid employees, they have built enormous wealth anonymously. This 8 story house on road number 5 of D block of Aftabnagar in the capital belongs to Rajuk's office assistant Zafur Sadek. Apart from the house, this class 4 employee has a luxurious flat in the capital's Shantinagar. Moreover, ACC found not only Zafur Sadek but 50 employees with a monthly salary of Taka 20 to 30,000 have multi storied houses, luxurious cars, plots, flats, and shops in the capital. ACC has a list of Rajuk's office assistant Bilal Hussein Chaudhary, Nasiruddin Chaudhary, Surveyor Masum Billah, Supervisor Khaled Mushar of Talukdar, and many more who are accused of acquiring huge wealth through bribery. ACC has started a new investigation against most of them, although cases of illegal assets have been filed against three to four of them. Rangpur Central Bus Terminal has not been opened even though the opening date has been announced. Several times citizens are being deprived of the services of one of the largest terminals of the country with modern facilities. Those who concerned hope that the beautiful terminal built at a cost of Taka 31 crore will be launched during the Prime Minister's visit to Rangpur. The construction of Rangpur Modern Central Bus Terminal was completed last year at a cost of Taka 31 crore financed by Zaika and GOB. The first floor of ATM booths, daycare, centers, sitting areas, luggages areas. On the second floor, there is a children's playroom, shops, meeting rooms, VIP lounges, along with restrooms for the drivers and assistants. There is also adequate parking facility. A few months have passed since the completion of the terminal along the highway. Members of 25 countries are working as UN peacekeepers in Mali. Bangladesh has brought everyone under one umbrella through networking. At the same time, band SIG 11 force have been completed towards the Central African country, working remote areas of the country. Any team from any country operating in the remote desert is monitored. In some cases, advanced information is also collected. Although sometimes they face networking problem, they solve it by themselves. The contingent commander said that the peacekeepers of Bangladesh have been successfully handling information technology work of several years. The sector commander said that the peacekeepers of Bangladesh are being given this responsibility because of their proper duties. Several women peacekeepers from Bangladesh are also in charge of internal operation communication.